The binary bracelet in Bookmark CS Unplugged Activity is a great way to explore binary and how it is that humans can interact with computing devices even though we don't speak in binary. I've got two versions of the worksheets. Um, one is probably for K2 because the math is going to be a little simpler. We just work with four bits there. And one um, is a little bit more complex because we're working with all the bits that we need to create numbers. So let's start with numbers. Uh, we, of course, recognize base 10 numbers. Um, so how do we get base 10 numbers converted into binary? And here is the trick. You'll notice here there are some numbers underneath these cells. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. Uh, you'll notice they're doubling each time, right? And above, you'll see that there's some zeros and ones. Zeros in binary represent an off state, and ones represent an on state. So for the number five, what we need to look at is these numbers below, what set of them do we need to add up that will uh, create an R number five? And so what I like to do is I like to just go starting here, figure out is five less than 128? Yes, that needs to be turned off. Less than 64? Yes, turn it off. 32? Turn it off. 16? Turn it off. Eight? Turn it off. Oh, four. Now five is greater than four, so I need the number four. 4 plus 2 is 6. I don't need the number 2. 4 plus 1 is 5. I need to turn that on. And that's how I get to binary 5. So let's try it ourselves with the number 12. So again, 12 is less than 128. Turn that off. Less than 64. Turn that off. Less than 32. Turn that off. Less than 16. Turn that off. Oh, now it's greater than 8. I need the 8. So I'm going to turn that on. And 8 plus 4, oh, that's 12. I can turn that on. Now that I have my number, I know I can turn these last two off because I do not need them. So 12 in binary is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Let's try 27. Again, less than 128, less than 64, less than 32. Oh, it's greater than 16. I'm going to need that. OK, what about 16 plus 8? 24. Yep, I can turn that on. All right. What about 24 plus 4? Well, that's 28. I need to turn that off. Okay, what about 20, 24 plus 2? That's 26. I need to turn that on. Plus 1, 27. I need to turn that on. So 27 in binary is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And you can keep going on. There's spaces where you, the students, can figure out their own numbers. One challenge is to figure out, like, what's the greatest number that we could represent in binary with just eight bits? So once you've had some time uh, working with that, that still doesn't help us communicate with the computer, because we, you know, usually communicate with um, typing something, words, letters, things like that. So there was a committee um, that created something called the ASCII code. And it's a group of people who said, you know what? We know how to figure out numbers in binary. Let's represent letters with numbers. So we're going to associate capital letter A with 65, capital letter B with 66, capital letter C with 67, and so on. And you'll notice these aren't only capital letters, so there's a whole other chart to do lowercase letters, uh, symbols, periods, exclamation points, things like that. So for either the binary bracelet or the bookmark, you're going to pick three letters. It could be your initials. It could be a three-letter word, uh, but basically three letters. I'm going to pick my initials, KSW, and then I'm going to figure out what K is, 75, what S is, 83, and what W is, 87. And then I can calculate this, um, or well, I'll, do, I'll calculate the first one. So I've got um, 75, which uh, is less than 128, but then 64 is 87, uh, 75 is greater than 64. What about 64 plus 32? Let's just see. Six, no, that's too big. Plus 16? Nope, too big. Plus eight? Okay, we want to turn that on because it's 72. 
How about 72 plus 4? Well, that'll equal 76. I want to turn that out. How about 72 plus 2? Well, that equals 74. Let's turn that on. And then we add one more and we get to 75. So there's a representation of K. Now I can check my work because I have this little cheat sheet that shows you what um, goes with what. So I'm going to go ahead and use this for the S, which is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. And you're going to do it for the third letter. But in this case, I am just going to do two letters so I can make this video a little shorter. So the supplies that you need for the binary bracelet activity are uh, perler beads, and I would definitely recommend getting them in separate colors as opposed to bins that have all the colors put together. That's because you're going to want to have them separate for this activity. It, it's really easier to have them already separated. So I need one of these colors to represent a one and one to represent a zero. So I actually think I'm going to have uh, purple represent the zero. So I'm just going to lay them out here on top of my work so I can, it'll be easy to string them together when I get to that part. All right, and then I'm going to have green, turquoise, this color represent, represent one. Okay, and then I can have a third color that I string in between so it separates um, each of the codes. I'm gonna need some um, elastic string and I'm gonna wanna put a knot at the end of one part of it so when I string these, they don't fall off. And then I can just start stringing. Now again, it's, this can be a little challenging with little fingers, which is why I also have the bookmark activity. Oopsie. And then finally, if I want a third color to separate that first letter, I can do that. And then I'll string the rest of them together, tie them up, and I have a binary bracelet. Now, if you don't have access to these supplies, the other option you can do is the binary bookmark. And for that, You're going to do the same activity of learning how to do this. You're going to create the same uh, binary code for your letters, but instead you're going to pick colors to represent, uh, you're, not instead, you're going to represent colors, uh, ones and zeros with different colors, and then you're going to put those colors as, you know, uh, zeros or ones, like I did, and then you can create uh, shapes around that. And then if you have access to a laminator, you can cut this out and create a really great bookmark. Well, I hope you have fun with this.